place Ultra Care Topical Anesthetic and anesthetize. Rinse and vacuum before isolating the preparation. Cut the veneer preparation. Use ViscoStat Clear to control the bleeding and circular fluids. Retract the tissue with UltraPak knitted cord. For this case, the double cord technique is used for optimal retraction. After hemostasis is achieved, remove the larger cord prior to making the impression. After the cord is removed, use ViscoStat Clear for additional control of bleeding and circular fluids. Inject Chromoclone PVS light or super light body material directly onto the teeth. The light body flows easily and sets after just a few minutes. Air thin the material on the teeth to get full coverage and eliminate voids. Then apply a second layer of Chromoclone PVS light body. Place the impression tray in the mouth. Make sure the tray is centered and gently push the tray onto the teeth. Take care to not force the tray. You do not want the patient to bite down to the impression tray as that can distort the impression. You want to keep some impression material between the teeth and tray to get the optimal impression. Leave the tray in the patient's mouth until the material is fully set. After it has set, remove the tray. Check the margins and preparation for air or saliva bubbles. After the final impression is inspected, remove the second retraction cord. Use clone bite to make an accurate impression of the bite registration. Clean and disinfect the preparations with Concepsis scrub to remove residual temporary cement. Rinse and air dry the preparations, then verify the prosthetic fit. Etch the inside surface of the veneer with porcelain etch for 90 seconds. Rinse and air dry the surface. Apply Ultra Etch for 5 seconds to remove the porcelain salts and debris formed by hydrofluoric acid etching. Rinse and air dry again. Next, apply a puddle coat of silane to the inside surface of the prosthesis for one minute, air dry, and set aside. Do not rinse. If needed, use ViscoStat Clear to control bleeding and circular fluids. Retract the gingival tissue with UltraPak knitted cord and isolate the adjacent teeth with Teflon tape. Apply Ultra Edge to enamel and or dentin for 20 seconds. Rinse thoroughly for 5 seconds and leave damp.
optional step. Disinfect the area with consepsis and lightly dry. Apply a puddle coat of Peak Universal Bond with the Inspiral brush tip and gently agitate it into the surface for 10 seconds. Thin and dry for 10 seconds using full air pressure. The preparation should appear shiny. Light cure the preparation with the Velo Curing Light for 10 seconds on standard mode. Next, express a thin layer of Permashade LC onto the inside bonding surface of the veneer. Carefully position and seat the veneer using gentle pressure. Tack cure the veneer with the Velo Curing Light for 2 seconds to avoid shifting. Clean the excess cement from the margins and place deox if desired. Finally, remove the Ultra Pack knitted cord, remove excess flash, finish and polish the margins, then rinse and dry.